if you are in the world and you want to serve God and the things that made sense while you were in the world still make sense and you're still doing them now, something is wrong. But I don't mean to say that to discourage you. If something is wrong, then you can fix it. Right? That's why everything is written for our learning. You can't just be a hearer of the word of God and not a doer. See, all these things contradict that one verse that says, be ye perfect. Right? And all the pastors and leaders out there who are saying that's impossible. So when I come to God as being a sinner, I'm supposed to remain a sinner. And he will accept me. And what we get wrong is that in God's eyes, no one could be ever perfect. But that doesn't mean that you cannot better yourselves in God. And that's what we need to be speaking more about. We speak about God's grace. And we speak about his mercy. And we say, well... That's why it's there, because we're going to sin. We're going to make mistakes. But Christ speaks about picking up the cross and following him. How do we pick up the cross and we're in sin? The same sinful flesh in which we have, the same sinful thoughts in which we entertain. Isn't? That the very reason why Christ came to show us how we could be different in the midst of something that we were shaped in, like iniquity? Why? Because God has given us the tools to be better, so we have to learn to be better. For to whom much is given, much is also required. And that's simple, right? A simple, another simple verse or Bible scripture that we get wrong. If God has given you life and we say Jesus is so good, I'm so glad to have him within my life. Then what am I giving back to him? If I barely got saved, if I could have died in sin But yet he gave me life and allowed me to receive the adoption of the father and of the true word of God. What am I giving back? You know, if you're if you were in poverty and you just didn't have as much as you needed and you go to those goodwill services and or to a local church and you ask for help and they give you clothing. Well, soon enough, you grow out of that clothing, right? And then you're thinking about, well, I'm sure there's other people like myself that dealt with the same circumstances. How can I help them? How could I contribute back to the society that I was once delivered from? Okay, so how much more the word of God? How do I give back? What is God asking me to do? You know, when he cleans me up and prepares me for something, what is he preparing me for? He didn't just clean me up for me to rummage back in sin. He didn't just clean me up that I could be tossed to and fro with every sleight of hand and every wind of doctrine. Why did he give me the word of God that cleans me up? Why did he make me a leader? Why did he make me to understand this word? Why did he give me the law of God and not the law of sin? Why did he free me from these sins? From the person I thought I was. It's so that you could understand that there is a better life out there for you. But if you don't believe it, if you believe in your atmosphere, If you believe in what the world is telling you, then how would you ever change? How would you ever gain what God has in store for you? If you learn to work on yourselves, 
God teaches us that we could turn and change any atmosphere that we enter in as he speaks about the light and how we don't put it under a bushel but on a light on on the housetop that everyone could see the light so when my light shines i not only change atmospheres but i change spirits i change the way people think the way that people perceive myself the word of god and themselves So through God's light, I could convert someone's darkness. Now this is just one or a few of the Bible scriptures that we get wrong. Could you think of any others? Subscribe. Comment below. I would love to hear from you. God bless.